So we got another very important man of the show business here. It's Mr. Klaus Foreman. But he's not only a bass player, he's also a painter. And uh, what we see in the background is the painting he made. And did you ever thought about that this painting you did could be a CD cover? Well, I did several record covers. The one everybody knows is the revolver cover for the Beatles. And this is a drawing I did of George, uh, just a quick drawing really, but I liked it. And I called it uh, Unforgettable George. And uh, it was particularly, he was dead already. And uh, he liked it, Achim Schulz, he liked it. So he put it on the, on the cover. That's a good keyword, Achim Schulz. How did you get in contact with Achim? Achim sent me an email and he was uh, saying, Klaus, I uh, have a shop where I sell uh, parts for, your car, for cars, so if you need anything for cars, just give me a call. So I did call him and that's how we became friends. The profit of this, uh, this CD will once for the Lakota Indians and as well for the minefields. Uh, How, which contact do you have to the, those two groups? My wife uh, is very closely and very deeply involved with the American Indians, in particular the Lakota Indians. She helps really very direct. She is not one of those, those uh, people that say, oh, he's got the nice feathers in his hair and the teepee and all. She is really interested and very much involved with the actual problem those people, those, the problems those Indians have these days. And uh, she's uh, trying to raise money and she's trying to help ex uh, immediate, direct, not just far away. She goes there and helps. Um, Mr. Foreman, which contact do you have to the minefields? I was on a, um, I have forgotten the name for it, it was um, where they raise money for the adopt a minefield thing where Paul was and Heather and lots of guests was a, a gala, gala you call it. That was in Düsseldorf or somewhere close in Neuss, I think it was. And there I saw a film of uh, kids with no legs, limbs and, and really badly injured people from landmines. And there's so many still somewhere in the ground and they're not actually taking them away. It costs money, but they have to do it. They have to get them out of the soil and see that those things don't happen anymore. So then we wish uh, good luck for the CD and uh, thank you very much for the interview. We have fun, we want to see everything We travel every day Now I got the voice of track number 14 of the CD right in front of me. The voice of the track number 14, right. Mr. David Williamson, how did someone like you uh, get in contact with this project? Uh, we have a mutual friend who owns a studio in the east of Munich and he brought us together. And um, I was very impressed by the, by the project because uh, it's, uh, it's a pro bono type of thing. Uh, Paid very little, but it's a it's a it's a righteous cause. It's a just cause, and um, I was I was very uh, impressed by the whole nature of the work. Yeah. Another very important person we met here at Schulz and Wörl is Mr. Alfons Kiefer. He is the most important illustrator for, let's say, the Beatles illustrations. How did you get in contact with the Beatles? Uh, yes, in fact, it was um, that Klaus Forman is my f a good friend of mine. And he was once coming with uh, the job to make a very good illustration for the anthology of Beatles. And so we have uh, done it and it was very successful. And after that, uh, the German Blebom makes a reputation about Klaus. And so uh, they want to have a portrait. What I have, to, I have painted of Klaus, so they have uh, printed and gave me another job. Uh, it was um, a portrait of the four, the Fab Four. 
in the year 64. That means um, the lookalike of uh, the Beatles must be as they was in, 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 in its beginning, in her beginning. That means uh, it could not be the Beatles as uh, in the year 70. It must be lookalike the Beatles in the 60s. And the idea about this uh, story was how came the Beatles in contact to drugs? Um, the story said it was uh, about Bob Dylan. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Um, the idea in the picture is uh, that they make a very special look on the, um, on the joint that uh, John Lennon is smoked, and uh, all in the painting is not real white. Just the joint is real white, and so you have, and, and it's with a little shadow. So when you take a look on it, you think it's a real joint into the painting. And that was the idea about that. So for the audience now, for the public, uh, do you have much more paintings done for other people, for other artists, maybe politicians? Um, can someone look them anywhere, maybe in the internet? Do you have an internet address where the people can watch them, what you did already? Yes, of course. Um, when anybody is interested, it's very easy to find my internet. It's Alphonse. Ma minus minus, yes. minus kefa, uh, dot de. So I thank you very much for the interview and I think a lot of people will watch what you have done. I will do so this afternoon if I got a little time, but it's very, very great and thank you very much, Mr. Kiefer. Now, another important person for the CD I found is the singer Sandrina Sandona. How did you get in contact with the uh, and the project Bye Bye uh, George? Well, I was uh, acting in a musical show in Schwabing, in Munich, and friends of mine, they just came with Achim, I have new him since then, and after the show he said, hey, uh, you can give me your number, and because I have a project, and you probably have to sing on that. I said, all right, <laughs> call me if you need me. That's how I get to know Achim. So he called you and he needed you? Yeah, he called me and uh, told me about the project, about the CD, and... Okay, I'm with it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to introduce this CD now. This CD is called Bye Bye George, and this is a production by Achim Schulz. He's standing right next to me. Yes, I have so much things in my head, as it's better, I read it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that we can tell a lot of albums so we can donate a huge amount for the Wu Relief uh, Organizations. I got a large quantity of audience in the internet portals, number one music and MySpace com. I hope I will find a way to sell my music in the USA. Speaking about the States, I have to send special thanks to my dear friend Susan from Stanford and Mark from New Jersey and all the other visitors of my web pages in the United States. Thank you. Love and hippie time All you need is love 